Whoa, shit. <laughs> so, killer pigeons. Saw this car. We have got the Fujifilm X-H2. Brand new, brand new stuff right here. With the lens, all new. Shininess. They've also announced a GFX lens, which they don't have, so I can't show you. It's pretty saucy stuff. I've got a 56 1.2 WR, because it's weather resistant now. And some other stuff, quieter, sharper, just generally better, probably more expensive. Doesn't matter, but the X-H2, I guess it was to be expected. When they announce an X-H2S, you expect something without the S or with a different letter. Whoa! This is the final product, so they don't, there doesn't have to be any kind of caveat saying, oh, it's, uh, it's not the final product, so it might not be full performance. Wow, there's a lot more lanterns. It's mid autumn Festival, isn't it? What festival? Middle Christmas. mid autumn Festival. <laughs> what? You're not very Chinese, lock. Let's put a lot, a lot of lanterns out. They always got this wet lantern anyway, whatever festival. More, they got more. They just chuck out more. So why would they have an S? Well, if you think of uh, Sony, they've got the S. Don't know what it stands for, speed, I guess. Low, low light kind of stuff. Uh, but basically it means for video. And a similar thing with Fujifilm, the X-H2S is good for video peeps. This, without the S, it's a bit like the A7 IV, you know, kind of good for everything. But this has got a lot of megapixels. This has got 40 megapixels, so it's got high resolution. But in terms of the body itself, it looks exactly the same. And we talked about the X-H2S body. We like, we like it. They've changed it, obviously, so that you don't have the typical X dials. And now you've got a big screen there. I like the grip, though. Grip's really nice. It's a fuller grip. Yeah, I always like Fujifilm grip. The XH grip is the best, the best of a the lot. They always have a really big front width as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've got this jutting out here. Mommy, I don't have a hand, but you So you've got seven customization modes. It's fairly generous. There's half the dials customization modes. Can you remember all them? All them? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? You need a piece of paper underneath here. You put a post-it note. I started that off before. GHX6, no, GH5 Mark II video. Post-it note. Clever idea. That's what tilty flippy screens are for. But uh, in terms of the body, body features, EVF, same as before. It's, it's, everything is the same as XH2S, the body. So, you know, same here, same here. Here, 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 here. In fact, we could just use the same product shots as the H2S, and then you um, scrub out the S or put a little black bar on it. It's fine, lock. It's fine. They will never know as long as you don't put this in video. And yes, you can see little holes on the bag as well. You can put the Fujifilm fan on it. But there's no recording limit time, so you can just keep going. If you're shooting 4K, in fact, if you're shooting 8K, you can just go on for 160 minutes, they say, which is about the same as the battery life. So what's the difference then? What are the difference to X-H2S? So the megapixels. 8K, 4K, 40 megapixels. Yeah, so this is a bit cheaper as well. So uh, the UK price is £1,899. The X-H2S is like £2,299 or something like that. Which one? Which one's cheaper? This one is cheaper. This one's cheaper. Yeah, this one's cheaper. So it's got not as far. It's not as fast, basically. The process isn't as fast. But the uh, XX2 S to 6K, this to 8K. Yeah. And cheaper. Uh, and it's more, cheaper. More mechanical. Rolling shutter, not as good. Probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, that, it actually said it. It's not. It's not as good. They gave the figures. Oh no. Yeah, I like that instead of oh, you, you, you try and figure out yourself. We're just gonna tell you all the positive things, the marketing stuff, and you can figure out if it's good or not. No, they said, quite honestly, the rolling shutter is gonna be worse. Hello. <laughs> all right. It's got the same face, eye, animal, AF, whatever. Same algorithms. However, it won't be as fast as the S because of processor. 
just not as quick. So this is kind of, if you want to shoot landscapes, you need that high resolution and maybe a little bit of video, then it's, then it's cool. But I think, I think if you really want to shoot video or you've, if you're taking, you know, fast bursts, sports and stuff, it's the S, isn't it? You need the S. I like the old lady in the background just thinking, who the, who the hell is he supposed to be? And electronic shutters, 180th of a second. No, 180 thousandths of a second electronic shutter. It's crazy fast. <laughs> I'm going to try that out. <laughs> what? That was crazy. Whoa. Whoa. What does that even look like at 180,000? Hang on, that's not a shot. I know, it's mental, isn't it? It's even, it's giving me the red. I'm on f1.2 and it's giving me the red. It's saying that's, that's not fast enough. I'm on auto ISO as well. Is that unheard of? Yeah, I, I've not heard of anything that fast before. 180,000 of a second. It's That's pretty crazy, isn't yeah. it? So it has uh, in body stabilization. Yeah, in body stabilization. And also, they've got this pixel shift to get a 160 megapixel shot. So it takes 20 shots and combines it. So it's like 20 shots, combines 20 shots, and boom, 160 megapixels. It's also got less dynamic range than the X-H2S. 13 stops plus versus 14 stops plus. But it's got more phase detection autofocus points. So 3 million versus 2 million for the X-H2S. So it's not all like, oh, this is just completely inferior. There's quite a lot of positives about this. We'll get off this crazy electronic shutter. I don't need this. It's weird. I mean, it's good. It's probably going to be something, a crazy ISO. Everything's going to look terrible. That's enough, I think. It's for sitting something like water spread without, uh, without flash. <laughs> yeah. How to freeze motion with an XH2. <laughs> Done. One thing in terms of authenticity they got right about Chinatown is the smells. Sometimes you get this whiff of the drains and it's like, Oof. Nailed it. I quite like this lens. I, I've carried another lens with me. I, I don't really want to use this now, 1655. I guess we can use this for video in a minute. And there were a couple of times just there with this 56 1.2 and squeezing that focus. It definitely doesn't feel as quick as the X-H2S. Of course, I didn't bring the X-H2S out on the street, so it's hard to say for sure. Oh, freaking pigeons. Pigeons are trying to get me back for eating all those pigeons in Shartin. I didn't even like it that much, all right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like a roast duck, but with less meat. What's that all about? <laughs> kind of too <laughs> It is, isn't it? Even looks exactly the same. The smaller. Yeah. The only good thing is like, yeah, let's get rid of you pigeons. You're like sitting, sitting up there and shitting on my things. Let's have one of you. Um, I'm trying to burst rate. Here we go. Switch it on. Let's have a laugh. Let's have an electronic shutter. I don't want to keep forgetting that the drive. I was like, hey, where's the drive? It's the rubbish, the rubbish bin icon. I, I keep forgetting, but it's, it is a bit weird, isn't it? I know they've written it there. Usually you think, oh, it's a rapid spin. I, I don't want to touch it unless I really want to. I mean, unless I really need to. But it's a drive. 20 FPS has cropped 1.29 times. Continuous AF, continuous AF. Here we go, let's track somebody. Video mode. So like the X-H2S, it also shoots ProRes RAW. I mean ProRes 
I assume black magic raw. No. Yeah, black magic raw. Pro res raw. No, what did like stage 2s do? Pro res raw. It do pro res raw and uh, black magic raw as well. So yeah, between so 8K and 4K, that's 6K. I like yeah. that a lot. Because so, there are other cameras that do have 8K and they don't do anything in between, do they? No. You don't have to deal with 8K in your computer, but then with 6K, you can still do open gates with 4K, crop in, whatever. In case of a zombie attack, we have built a wall of rubbish here just to stop them. The zombies will be like, they'll be stopped by this barricade of, of uh, crud. I like this cake shop, by the way. Lots of sponsor. It's free advertising. Golden Gate Cake Shop. So that's the Fujifilm X-H2, all new. Cheaper version of the X-H2S, pretty good. You can't complain. Less money, more stuff. Well, not in all aspects. I don't even know. I just, it just makes me wonder if they're even going to bother with an XT5. Because how much is that going to cost? That's probably going to be about 1,200 quid, 1,300 quid. Maybe a bit more. And how much worse could it be than this? The XT5 is for hip hipsters. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I sold X-T4 because now we've got two great options for, for video and stills. The X-T4, I sold it because I, it, it just wasn't good enough for, for video. Stills is fine. Well, the Fujifilm don't have much to lose when it comes to anything above this. They've just got their GFX and, and that's not really for shooting video. They don't have full frames, so they've got no doorstep to poo on above this so they can go all out with the crop sensed cameras and, and be like let's have all these features a bit heavy <laughs> oh, they go like this is it it's the lens isn't it the body is probably not that heavy. lens yeah probably the lens it probably stabilization looks good or this screen well they said they've improved it for video so you know when you move about for panning and stuff like that it should be much better than the xh uh, I mean the XT4. I was wondering, last time when the X-H2S was announced, I was wondering whether they were going to do an X-H2R. Same thing, but with high resolution. It is, but I thought they were just going to put it at the same price or maybe even higher. You know, high resolution, 8K, and they have, but it is cheaper. So that, that makes it kind of interesting. I think, it, I, I think this was just going to be quite appealing. This makes sense to a lot of people who are a little bit more entry level. I mean, this is not an entry level camera, is it? It's, it's, a, it's a fast action camera. This is not an XT, it's an XH. But if you are getting into it at a lower price point, you probably do want more. You want more of more, don't you? And that's what they're giving you. It's not an average resolution. They're giving you what the typical, I don't know, consumer might want. They want everything. They want the latest. They want the biggest, the best, the highest, everything. Highest resolution. In fact, I don't think there's any other APS-C cameras with this high resolution or 8K, is there? Uh, Chinese medicine. I got a question some of these kind of doctors I once went to one when I was like a teenager and then uh, my mum was there as well. And then a doctor felt my pulse and he said, uh, you've lost a lot of sperm. Like, what? My mum's here. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't give the game away. I'd, I'd say oh, I must be just leaking. I've got a bit of leakage.